There's the pitch. And Narrier blasts it to left. Goodbye. That's halfway to Burleson. Narrier puts one up into the Cleaver Knight. Orzak from the belt, the 3-2. This one lofted to left field. This one's going back. Briggs is looking up, and that one leaves the yard. Ground ball to the right side. Arroyo fields it. He throws to first. And the final ticket to the party in the Eastern Division belongs not to Cinderella, but to the Cleveland Railroader. Well, happy Friday, everyone. Welcome into Rail Talk with Brad Allred and Hannah Carr here from the depot at Cleburne Station. Now, for those that might not have been around on February 1st, which was Women in Sports Day, that's where we told you about Hannah. And Hannah is going to be a big part of not only our broadcast uh, in the 2023 season, but leading up to the season opener on May 11th. You're going to see a lot of Hannah on Rail Talk. You're also going to see a lot of Hannah in the stadium when you're here at the depot this season. You're going to see a lot of Hannah. So I wanted to welcome Hannah. First off, welcome Hannah to Rail Talk. Thank you. Thank you. We're, you and I are going to have some fun. We're going to have a blast this year as we get deeper into the season and we talk more baseball and X's and O's as this team's being put together. But I thought today to kind of give Railroader fans a sense of who you are um, and for Railroader fans, these questions that I'm about to ask Hannah, I haven't, she does not know these. She wanted to know and I wouldn't let her. Um, I'm going to give you a bunch of kind of just rapid fire questions. Okay. Um, and you just give me the first thing that comes to mind. Some of these okay. questions, you'll have a choice. Some of these questions, you'll have to come up with an answer. Okay. okay. Are you ready? All right. 60 seconds on the clock. Ding. Here we go. Favorite all time athlete. Grace Lyons. Whataburger or in and out Whataburger. Good girl. Beach or snow? Beach. Will Ferrell or Kevin Hart? Will Ferrell. Good answer. Uh, TV show that you like to binge watch? One Tree Hill. One Tree Hill. It's an oldie, but a classic. Wow, maybe yeah. you got some, maybe you got a little age in you I there. Do. You know, that's I an do. old school show. Yeah. Okay, good answer. Uh, your go-to musical artist or band? Fleetwood Mac. Man, she she's got she does have some age to her. Uh, favorite ballpark food? Um, pretzel or churro. Mm. Churro. Churro. Is that a ballpark food? Yeah, yeah we have churros yeah. here at the depot from time to time. I, yeah, I could I'm go. I'm excited. With, I could go. You're making okay. me hungry. Me too. You're making me hungry. <laughs> uh, your favorite thing that you're looking forward to as you kind of start this new venture with the railroaders? Just meeting the team and getting to know the staff and creating relationships and um, just getting to know everyone. Are you ready to be put in that awkward position on a game night where I throw it down to you in the sixth inning and I have you ask someone just the most random question in the world? Are you prepared for that? Almost as prepared as I am now. So, no, I'm not. <laughs> All right. Well, she's pulling the curtain back for us. We're getting a little bit of personality from Hannah today. But um, for you, kind of talk about – give give Railroader fans that didn't – get to hear your kind of introduction video. Tell them a little bit about you and kind of what's brought you here and how you ended up joining us. Definitely. So I was born and raised in Texas. I graduated high school and moved to Chattanooga, Tennessee. I went to school at a private Christian college for three semesters, moved back home um, in December, applied for my internship, and I'll be here until August. I just applied to the University of Georgia. Go dogs. Go dogs. Um, TCU fans don't like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Um, and so I will be moving to Georgia and I will be majoring in journalism and mass communications, hoping to minor in sports media and earn a certificate in sports broadcasting. So and we might, here we, we, we could see you. ESPN one day, who knows, right? 100%. Maybe the next Jessica Mendoza right here. I'd yes, be, sir. I would definitely be all for it. Yes, um, we've got some news to get into. Um, so yesterday, uh, for those that follow us on social media, you saw me drop a hint. I said we had some massive news, massive news to share with you today. And I gave Railroader fans the opportunity 
to uh, kind of submit your guesses, what you thought it might be. And um, dare I say, no, I will say, uh, this will move the needle. This is going to get Railroader fans excited. Uh, but I felt like an announcement of this type, uh, even though I have been here for as many years as I have being the broadcaster for the Rail Riders, I don't quite measure up to the level of this announcement. It shouldn't be me that should give it. So let me just throw it to the great one. Finally! That is right. He is coming home. All-star center fielder Zach Narrier returns to Cleburne. He is once again a Cleburne Railroader. As many of you have asked, whether it be on editions of Rail Talk, whether you've asked on social media, the number one question, even when we're on a different topic, the number one question has been, is Zach coming back to Cleburne? Zach Narrier... He's the face of this organization. What more can you say about him? Uh, he has done it all in his time here. And as this team has continued to progress, and you've heard me talk about taking those steps, going all the way back to 2019 and the heartbreak of not making the postseason right at the end of the year uh, when we were in Fargo, to 2021, uh, and the playoff game, the, the wild card game against uh, Sioux City. And then here in 2022, the run that we went on, making it all the way to the East Division Championship Series. Zach Narrier has been a huge, huge part of that. And the big announcement, the massive announcement that we promise is, in fact, he's coming home. Zach Narrier is once again a Cleburne Railroader. Narrier returns to Cleburne for his fourth season with the Railroaders. The all-star center fielder hit 314 last season, leading the American Association in runs scored, and finished third in the league with 35 stolen bases. Narrier's defense speaks for itself, as he has left Railroaders fans in awe more times than we can count. No doubt, Hannah. When you look back to 2022, uh, he made things happen. He facilitates things in this order. I mean, he gets on, he, he steals bases, as you mentioned, everything. Um, he does it all. I mean, he's the five tool guy that brings everything to the table. And as Logan Watkins puts this team together and you need that cornerstone, cornerstone, I'll eventually get it out. That cornerstone uh, caliber player, Zach Narrier definitely fits the bill. All of it. He's, he does it all. So we're super excited. Obviously, it goes without saying to have Zach back. Uh, again, a monumental signing today. He's meant so much to this team uh, coming up now on his fourth season here in Cleburne. And, we, and you're talking about a guy that's done it across the board, a 310 lifetime career hitter in the American Association. Uh, as Hannah mentioned, hit 314 in 2022, had a 334 uh, season back in 2021, uh, 285 in his inaugural campaign with Cleburne uh, back in uh, 19, had success with the Wichita Wingnuts uh, coming into the league. Uh, he had to swim through uh, Milwaukee in the COVID year where Cleburne did not compete that saw him uh, with the finals MVP to no one's surprise. Uh, the accolades for Zach Narrier go on and on, but the most important piece of this puzzle is the uniform that he's going to put on in 2023. And that will be with the Cleburne Railroaders. It goes without saying, everyone in this front office, everyone in this community, super excited uh, to have Zach back. So we welcome Zach Nair. He's coming back home to Cleburne, and we're certainly glad to have him. Now, I, I talk about moving the needle, and I talk about an announcement of this size uh, really – kind of leaving baseball fans wanting more if you're like me i mean we come into today we're you know we're here early february uh we're 90 days out season starts in 90 days we're only 102 days uh from our home opener baseball can't get here soon enough right no it cannot i'm so excited for what this season will bring for us and i'm so excited you had me on real talk thank you so it, much hey it's a lot of fun and for for folks that don't want to wait 90 days if you don't want to wait 102 days until that home opener you don't have to. Next weekend, February 17, 18, and 19, Liberty Classic right here at the depot at Cleburne Station. 
Army and Air Force will battle three games over the course of three days. Now, it's not just going to be about baseball. Going to have fireworks uh, every one of those nights. Going to have flyovers. Uh, they're going to have uh, – it, it's going to be for kids and adults alike. So, if you want to come out like me and catch baseball, absolutely you need to do that. Get your tickets for the Liberty Classic between uh, Army and Air Force. But, again, if you want to come out and just uh, be a part of – it's going to the ambiance. It's going to be cool here. It's going to be very um, patriotic. It's going to be it's going to have a feel that you're going to want to be a part of. So make sure and make your plans uh, to join us for the Liberty Classic February 17th, 18th, and, I'll be there, and, 19th. So. and Hannah will be here. So when you see her on the concourse, go introduce yourself. Please. You're going to see you're going to see a lot of Hannah this season when you're here in the stadium enjoying railroader games. Uh, on nights that you can't make it, but you're watching along on AABaseball.tv, you're going to see this smiling face. You're going to hear her on the broadcast. If you join us on MixLR or RailroaderBaseball.com, uh, you're going to have your – or I love TexasBaseball.com, excuse me. You're going to have your opportunities to uh, interact with Hannah. So she'll be here for the Liberty Classic. You make your plans to be here as well. That will do it for us for today here for Rail Talk. Next week – Going to try to get Logan Watkins, the manager of the Cleveland Railroaders, to come on with us. Now, we've talked about – oh, good news. One other piece of information before we go. I had the opportunity to talk with Logan earlier in the week. Uh, the prognostications for his 2023 fantasy football teams look fantastic. The stress level has really dropped for Logan. Once he got that second team defense situation worked out, he feels a lot better about where he's at going in next year. So for those that were concerned about Logan's stress level, he's you don't okay. have – he's good. He's good. He's got the 18 magazines that he has stacked up. Those are tucked away in the drawer. He's got his railroader hat back on. He's ready to go to work, adding more pieces to this puzzle. So we hope to have Logan on uh, next week and talk with him about further developments – that, that will be coming. You're going to see player signings start to really pick up for this railroader bunch in anticipation for spring training that will be here before you know it. And thanks so much for joining us thanks today. Thanks for having me, we're, Brad. we're going to do it a lot more, so get, get yes, saddled sir. up, buckled yes, in. Sir. You get buckled in as well for the next episode of Rail Talk coming to you next week. For Hannah Carr, Brad Allred signing off. We'll see you next week, everybody. Go Roaders! Woo!